Hello everyone, this is uh, Jim speaking. I received a uh, sample copy of the Cornerbrook uh, Camomere calendar uh, last week, so I wanted to uh, share it with you. Um, this is the cover, and um, that's a file picture, of, obviously, of Cornerbrook, uh, taken a few years ago. It is a 2020 calendar, and it is an official commemorative calendar for Cornerbrook's Come Home Year, and that's the logo that I obtained from the Cornerbrook uh, Come Home Year Committee with their with their uh, approval. Um, anyways, let's get into the calendar. The first couple of pages are old photos of Cornerbrook uh, that I received from the uh, Cornerbrook Museum and Archives uh, with their permission. Um, so there's some old photos of Cornerbrook that will bring back some some memories for a lot of people that have been living away, especially for quite a while. In the next two pages, you'll see uh, two pages of uh, collages of uh, photos that I've taken over the last X number of years. So there's various different pictures there of Cornerbrook that uh, didn't quite make it to the covers or the, the photos of the month. Anyways, let's move on. <clears throat> this is January month. This is a photo of Cornerbrook uh, that was taken, I believe, in January. Um, of this year and uh, yeah it's a nice little scene that uh, you're looking at the bay and I think I called it at the bay the little uh, uh, <clears throat> description there so again this is a 2020 calendar it's not for 2019 even though the come home year is in 2019 this July 19th to the 28th and uh, there's photos in the calendar dates as well I've incorporated that as well as uh, you can see the ghosting effect in beyond the dates of this picture here. And that's, uh, that's the same for every, uh, every uh, calendar month. And there's special graphics here for different uh, dates like uh, New Year's Day and stuff like that. So, move on to February. This is a nice photo of the O'Connell Drive area taken in the evening. Uh, uh, during the winter, it was taken, I believe, in uh, February month. And um, so here is the February month uh, page here. And like I said, there's all kinds of special graphics for different dates, like Groundhog Day and Valentine's Day. And uh, I incorporated those photos into the calendar. So this calendar as uh, I mean, I think I counted it the other day. There's 70 photos of Cornerbrook in this calendar. So that includes like the monthly photos as well as these inset photos that I got here. Uh, so, and the uh, the four pages of the, the collage photos, two of the old photos and two of my new recent photos, plus the back cover and front cover. There's approximately 70 pictures in this calendar of Cornerbrook. Let's go on to March month. Um, this here is a nice uh, scene here of the uh, sunset down on the waterfront. This is a ship uh, owned by Barry's Seafoods and uh, it's called the Stephanie M. She was tied up at the dock uh, when I was down there taking a sunset shot, sunset shot um, I believe last year. This wasn't taken this year, this was taken last year, that sunset shot. Um, Okay, so this is March month, and again, it's, you know, it's got the uh, the uh, ghosting effect, the special dates, the various uh, other photos of Cornerbrook put in there in the inset photos. This year is uh, Humber month, because there's quite a few people um, that, you know, have ordered from me before, and they've lived in Humber mouth, and they wanted a photo of Humber mouth. Well, this is a photo of Humber mouth taken from Prince Edward Park across the, the water there. Uh, there is another photo I'll show you in a minute that's taken uh, from across the bay in Irish Town towards Umbermouth. So if you don't see, like in this area where you grew up or whatever, then you might see it in the next photo. But it's a smaller photo similar to this one here. But you'll get you get an idea of uh, of where you might have uh, grew up or whatever. And uh, yeah, that's the uh, the dates there and that. This, this here is uh, a picture of uh, Sir Richard Squire's building here, uh, taken uh, last July. And that's a nice little photo of, uh, of Cornbrook in the background. Um, 
Here's the, uh, the sunset taken down at uh, Bartlett's Point Park. And special dates like Mother's Day, like I said, are in there and stuff like that. The phases of the moon. And like I said, the, the ghosting effect in beyond the dates. Every, every calendar month has got that. So there, here is the, uh, the picture for June month. This is a sunset that was I shot uh, uh, that was uh, looking over the, uh, the Humberites and the Hopper town site agent. I think that's Lowman Street there, and this is uh, uh, Willow Avenue. So yeah, that's a nice little shot looking, uh, looking at the uh, bay there at the sunset. So this is for June month, and yeah, there's the inset photo there. That's the one I was telling you about there a second ago. This is the Umbermouth area, and you could probably see maybe, you know, compared to the other photo, you could probably say, well, yeah, I grew up there or whatever. And actually up here, let me get my finger down a bit. This here is uh, Murky Square. That's uh, Walmart there. That's the Staples. And uh, I'm not sure if that's Kent there or what. But yeah, Murky Square is right above uh, the Humbermouth area. So anyways, that's it for June month. Let's go on to uh, July. And now July month, we're looking uh, from Captain Cook's uh, lookout. We're looking uh, over the mill or towards the mill and towards Cornbrook East there. This is the Umberites. Umbermouth is obviously up around there. And town site is up this way, but anyways. And there's a portion of downtown Cornbrook there as well. And um, here's another picture here. Uh, just showing you a lot of people may have grew up, or grew up, went to school rather um, at the uh, Herdman Collegiate, which is now called Cornbrook Regional I, I believe. Um, so that's the uh, the old school there. It's it's been renovated, but it's still the same structure inside and that. So, but it's been highly renovated and changed and that. So, you walk in, you wouldn't probably recognize the place now. But um, anyways, yeah, that's the uh, old Urban Collegiate. There's the Richard Squires building. There's the uh, the Civic Center right there, and the uh, college, uh, Grenfell College is up here. Anyways, yeah, so that's it for July. Let's go into August month. August, there's a lot of people that have ordered prints for me and that have uh, said, you know, are you going to put a picture of uh, curling in the uh, calendar? And yes, I try to get in as many areas of the, uh, the uh, city as possible from different uh, vantage points and that. So yeah, this is curling. There's Barry's Fishery right there. And this is uh, Curling Street here. And that's, I believe, Water Street down there. Um, I mean, curling is, is spread out quite a bit, and there's lots of curling that's up this way and down this way, so I couldn't get it all, but uh, I did uh, try to get a good shot there, and yeah, that's curling. And, and this here, believe it or not, is a sunset taken down and curling at, uh, I think it's from Bartlett's Point, I believe, um, or down on, on, uh, down on the uh, Griffin, and drive. So anyways, that's it and uh, let's move on to the next photo which is um, September month. This is uh, a picture of uh, downtown uh, Cornerbrook. And I'll see if I can get it. Uh, this was taken in late September. The trees were starting to change a bit uh, in this photo. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful little sunset. There's Cornbrook West there and uh, Valley Mall and Broadway's over this way and yeah downtown area right here and West Street right here and that's the new uh, new City Hall building and the museum is over there and the libraries in that building as well and yeah that's just another photo of Cornbrook taken from a different angle and that's it for uh, September month let's go into October October is a shot of Central Street um, or down downtown townsite region of Cornbrook. This was shot in um, I think around the 24th of uh, tw towards the latter part of October when the leaves were <clears throat> basically covering the whole street and the sides of the street and that. And uh, yeah, so this is a nice shot of the, the colorful uh, fall foliage in uh, in and around the. Uh, Townsite region. Of course, if you grew up there, you'll you'll recognize all 
all the, uh, you know, the colors and that. I mean, this is a beautiful area to photograph. Um, here we have uh, West Valley Road, which is another part of the, t well, I guess it's part of town, so yeah. Um, or near that, near that area anyways. And there's lots of people that grew up uh, on West Valley Road and Cobb Lane and those areas, which is around the, uh, on this side. Um, so here we go. Like I said, there's special graphics for different dates that I've incorporated for Halloween and that. And, and um, of course, every month has got the month before and the month after, just for, I guess, planning purposes. If you want to, without flipping over the calendar, you can say, well, you know, here's September. I, you want to go back and check a certain date or whatever, then you can do it without flipping the calendar. And that's it for October. This is November month, so we're looking now towards Cornbrook uh, West. Elizabeth Street area is way up here. That's Elizabeth Street there going up there. And then, of course, it travels along Wheeler's Road, branches off up around here. Uh, this is the uh, old Western Memorial Hospital, which was converted into a long-term care type of facility called the O'Connell Center. And that was closed down when they opened up the the new uh, long-term care center. And I think this building now is bought and is being renovated for condos or whatever, which it seems like every building is being converted to condos around here. Um, so yeah, this is November month and there's a nice photo there looking towards Cornbrook East um, during the fall. There's the Lewin Parkway winding its way up to Murphy Square. And this is a photo for December month. And this is a lady, I don't know who she is, and she's walking a, her dog there. I think she's got a high reach setter there. And uh, anyways, yeah, she's walking across the, uh, the bridge that goes over the Cornbrook stream there uh, near the Glenmalin Pond. So this is uh, December month. And like I said, there's a photo there, some city lights during Christmas. And uh, yeah, that's it for that. Let's have a look at the back photo. I know this video is kind of long, but uh, I'm trying to explain everything that's in the the, the uh, calendar. So on the back, uh, obviously we got the 12 thumbnail photos. Uh, so you don't have to, you know, if you're showing it to somebody, they can look at the back and see the various photos that are included in the calendar. So. The back photo uh, is a shot um, of the Umber Valley, looking towards the Umber Valley with the uh, Trans Canada Highway winding its way through. And if you're from the uh, Riverside Drive area, then well, this area down here behind this uh, barcode, this is Riverside Drive and Stan Dawes is around right here too. And that's the, uh, the Ballam, Ballam Bridge, I believe, that goes over to the North Shore. So that is your back cover. And that is the front cover. These calendars are being printed as I speak, and I should have them by by the end of this week or early next week. Um, so if you haven't already uh, ordered a calendar, you should get uh, on the go and contact me. Um, and yeah, I'll put some information uh, in the description of this video for, uh, for you to contact me. Uh, by via email or or cell phone or whatever or messenger facebook messenger is fine um these pictures are all laminated with a special coating so you'll notice once you flip over they're very they're very uh, shiny and clear i don't know if you can see the, the sheen off the photo or not it's made from a nice card stock it's not it's not a thin paper or anything it is a card stock and uh, it's a nice, uh, nice heavy duty calendar. It's not, it's not lightweight or anything like that. And um, this calendar is not cheap to produce. These calendars, <clears throat> like I put out in 2017 for the 2018 year, I mean, these calendars are not cheap. These are not cheap calendars. So, um, you know, uh, these are gonna be selling for $25, which is a commemorative calendar. It, you know, look, you've got the logo there, the Kamal Muir logo, and that's the official uh, commemorative calendar for the corner of Kamal Muir, and with the various different old photos included in it. So it's not a calendar that you're going to take down after the year is over and throw it away, I don't think. Um, 
Hopefully not anyways, because there's a lot of photos there that you can reminisce and look back on and stuff like that, right? So, you know, um, there's the photos, like I said, the two collages that I created, uh, various different parts of Cornbrook and various different seasons and stuff like that. Um, so, <clears throat> again, like I said, they're, they're all very, uh, I don't know if you can see the sheen off this one here, right? but you can, yeah. Um, but it's a, it's a very expensive calendar to produce. But I told Gladys, uh, Gladys Batten, when we met back in October, that I wanted a calendar that was a high quality calendar. I wasn't putting out uh, a lower grade calendar. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the, the, the other calendars I put out, but it's just, I wanted a more, um, a calendar that would, you know, withstand time for X number of years or whatever, and put it stored away and stuff like that. It wouldn't get uh, torn or ripped or whatever, because these are, like I say, cardstock, uh, and um, they're, they're coated with a, uh, with a laminate, so yeah, hopefully they'll, you know, last for, for a long, long time. And yeah, so just going through the months again, I'll just hold back here, that's January month, that's February month, uh, that's March month, that's uh, April, this is May, that's uh, June, this is July, this is August, that's September, this is October, and this is November, and uh, that's December. And again, once again, this is the back cover. And uh, you can see by, by looking at it this from this angle, you can see it's a very thick calendar, it's not thin. I can uh, show you, uh, let me see, well, no, it's not nearby, so it's gonna show you uh, last year's or this year's calendar which is uh, is not a cardstock calendar but still nice anyways this is the cornbrook come on mirror commemorative calendar it um there's hundreds of people that have uh, pre-ordered uh, so if you want a copy of this you should contact me or uh contact uh, gladys through the uh the uh, come on mirror facebook page or whatever and uh get your order in i, I think gladys wants you to contact me obviously but I mean, if you don't feel comfortable with that, then you can contact Gladys. But um, anyways, that's it uh, for for now. Uh, I'll provide some more updates with regards to when the calendar arrives and that. Um, so anyways, uh, that's it. I hope you guys uh, like this video. It's a long video, I know, and I didn't anticipate it to be this long. But uh, anyways, I ramble on. I know. Anyways, get your orders in for this calendar. Um, come on, year starts on uh, the festivities start on July nineteenth and continue to the twenty eighth. So we're only talking about while well, we're at the end, approaching the end of April, May, June, July. We got for three months, yeah, or a little less than three months. So get your orders in now for this calendar. Talk to you later. Bye.